It's currently 4.15 p.m. and I'm gonna make a trip to the studio. I'm gonna stay there till around 9.30, I believe. I'm gonna make some clay flowers, film some stuff, and I'm also gonna ask around to see who knows how to make a canvas because I need to make a six foot by four and a half foot canvas. Four and a half foot canvas. Someone do the multiplication. I'm trying to find the area. Yeah, that's like what? That's like um, six times 4.5, 27 feet squared. Ooh, that's right, y'all. We remember our units here. Okay, don't miss points in your test for silly mistakes like I did in high school when I never got an A in a math class. So we don't talk about that. Also, I really want to wear these glasses outside. I think they're cute. I think they make me look kind of cute. Um, but they literally impair my vision. Like they do the opposite of what glasses are actually supposed to be and they hurt me. But yeah, let's head to the studio. photographs of like endangered species. Oh my god, are you The prompt for this piece was to create 100 of something. I chose to sculpt lilies out of the clay we were given because my sister wrote a song about lilies. Trigger warning, it's dark, it has to do with not existing anymore and wondering if passing away and just leaving lilies behind is okay and if it's kind of like it's something that you need to do in order to escape whatever world you're living in. And I thought clay would be a great medium to express this through art because clay itself, when it's bone dry, is very fragile and can break very easily. And the idea behind this piece was about impermanence. And that's why I chose to break the lilies in the end, even though I made them because it wasn't about the end product because I knew it would go in the trash anyways. It was about the process of me making it and trying to enjoy that process as much as I can and really just cherish the time I had being able to be in an art studio, go to art school, and just to make flowers as my homework. Like that is such a privilege and I am so grateful for that. And that's what I was thinking about when I was making the lilies and spending time with them even though I was going to break them in the end. Because if you think about it, it's not about the lilies dying in the end. That's not the point of the piece. The point of the piece is that I got to spend time making all of these things. And in the end, it went away, but it still mattered to me. Oh my god, yeah, it's the things I see on like the yeah. Instagram reels. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, 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 oh. like. Ah! Oh, I it heard It's kind of satisfying, right? Yeah, it, it is. It's really satisfying. But this breaks my heart because they're so beautifully made. I don't want to crush them. Hey y'all, I got back from the studio. I got a shit ton of work done. And it was a good time. It was really fun actually. I don't usually talk to people in the studio because I don't really see many people there. But a couple of my classmates came in and it was such a good conversation. I would call them my friends. They might not think of me the same way. I think we're friends though. Anyways, it's currently 10.57 and I am ready to go to bed. I am so exhausted. My back hurts. It's hurting. Tomorrow's schedule, medjulka schedule. I think I'm just gonna wake up, get my flu shot, have a meeting for my job at Bubble House, and then afterwards, I'm gonna finish some homework and go to the library, write all my papers, do all my readings, and then at nighttime, I'm gonna go to a club. This is an 18 plus club. <clears throat> Y'all think I'm crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, no. It's an 18 plus club. Um, oh shit, and I also have to go to Goodwill tomorrow. I need to go to Goodwill and try to find cowboy boots or leather pants that I could cut into chaps. I brought with me a cowboy hat, and so I think I'm gonna be a cowboy. A nice and fun cowboy. Cowboy moment. Okay, that's it. Good night. Where is it going?
am I wearing headphones because it's practical? <laughs> no. Um, I do it for the aesthetic. <laughs> yup. Kinda cute. There's nothing actually attached. I'm literally just wearing this for the aesthetic. For the aesthetic. I'm a hot girl. I'm a hot girl. Doing hot girl shit? <laughs> it sounds about right. Time has been slow, it seems Cover your face while we Blame the 19 I just so came back from Goodwill And we're gonna do a little haul moment, okay? Commence the haul! I got a really funky and fresh cowboy shirt that I think I'm gonna crop I'm gonna be one of those people that crop it And I think I'm also gonna cut off the sleeves Cause I'm edgy I also got these aviators for $5 Um they have the Gucci B on it for some reason. Like, there's like a fake Gucci B. Um, will they probably give me acne? Yeah. Am I gonna try to think about that right now? Uh, no. I need a Clorox those ASAP. And last but not least, the thing that really pulls it together are these Kenneth Cole little like boots. They literally look like um, cowboy boots. And it's a size 10.5. I'm like a 9.5 slash 10, so they're kind of on the larger size for me, but we're gonna make it work. Also, look at this logo. Okay. In the cowboy boots with the cowboy hat. Peep the fit, y'all. Peep the fit. Yeehaw. A lot has happened since you and I last talked. First of all, I finished my run. I tapped out at 4.3 miles. Did not want to do a second lap. I hopped on a work call for Bubble House. If you guys don't know, Bubble House is an app I work for. I'm like the social media manager there. And I also run like community building on Discord. So I run their Discord server and do all that jazz. And now I'm eating pizza for lunch. Three slices of pizza. Fresh. Also sue me, but like cold pizza is way better than like hot pizza. I'm like so quirky and so fun. Oh my God. My personality today is all over the place. I haven't had my coffee, I got a flu shot, and now I'm eating pizza from a Ziploc. And for some reason, I randomly posted a video of me like, not even crying, but like kind of crying about art school last night at 12.30 a.m. Tell me why I woke up, and it was like kind of popping off necessarily. Like, a lot of people saw me just cry. Here's a TikTok. Whoever said being art major was fun, they lied. It's kind of fun, but sometimes it's not fun, and you want to quit. And I posted it because I thought it was a genuinely funny video because I've been like romanticizing the art school life on my account, and so I'm like, hey guys, like, haha, like, it's shit too sometimes. Um, and people were like, oh my god, like, are you okay? Like, you're so strong, like, da 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 da. And I'm like, I literally just posted that because I thought it was funny. I. I'm fine. Even though I really do appreciate all the love and support, but I was fine. I'm fine. I thought it was funny, so I posted it. I'm fine, y'all. The reason you want Kelsey to like you is because she's cold and distant. Anytime someone tries to love you, you shove them away. What? No, I don't, stupid. You're stupid. Don't be such a dumb, stupid idiot, Todd. Okay, look, I gotta go. Everyone's staring at me for some reason. I just lost my fucking ID card. Uh, mm. This is what I get for skateboarding. Update, I need to get my ID back by five. It's currently 4.30 and someone is bringing my ID that they found on the sidewalk to me at 4.40. So I need to get my ass to the village, which is where like we're gonna meet to drop it off. And then I need to go back to the USC card place to get my ID. This is now a two and a half hour saga. Two and a half hours of my day. I was gonna literally go and sleep. I was gonna take a fucking nap. But I am saving $25, which is the good part. It's a mess though. It's a mess. I'm literally just dumb. They found it on the sidewalk. They found it on the sidewalk. I just got my card back. It's literally 4.45. What the fuck? What the fuck? I just got it back. And it's 4.45. So now I'm rushing. I am rushing. Not rushing. Fuck frats. I'm not even gonna say how ridiculous that adventure was, but it was really fucking ridiculous. Um, now I'm eating banana bread on the floor. Uh, 
A little update for y'all. I came home, took a three hour nap, and now I'm cutting a cowboy short because I'm gonna go to the club. I did not do any work that I wanted to do, um, but it's fine. It's actually just so fine because we're gonna have a good night. I'm gonna crop my tank top now because I can do whatever I want to do. Is this cute? This is not cute at all. This is actually kind of really disgusting and gross. Don't know why I did that. Yeah. Right now I'm feeling very sad, very depressed, and very mm, tired. So to make up for it, I'm going to fill that void with a $7 latte from Dulce. So that is the plan. And today's video is a really fun one. I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. Apparently, I have an art assignment that's due tomorrow morning. I knew about this for the past couple weeks. I did it once before, completed it, hated it, and my dumbass erased it instead of keeping it as a backup. So now I have to redo it. The catch is that it's 10.30 p.m. And I have this class at 9 a.m. tomorrow, and I want to try to get some sleep. So I'm going to try to finish this the next two hours max. I do not want to spend more time on this project. And I also have some coffee with me. Um, I am gulping it. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Do not scream or have a skull face or be wearing a tattered white satin gown. Someone or something is stealing our food. I had critique today of that little charcoal piece I crammed yesterday. Um, 
And honestly, it went better than I thought. I knew this critique wasn't like intense or anything because that class in general has a really nice environment where everyone's work is super valued and appreciated and no one, absolutely no one like literally roasts each other. But I think my work was strong enough to be like, okay, like whatever. Um, so that was fine, that was fine and dandy. I started out with this class hating charcoal, but as I keep working on my pieces, I find that it's more of an enjoyable medium than I originally thought. I think I'm actually getting better at charcoal, even though I've been cramming a lot of the assignments, sadly. I've just been diverting most of my time for my job, which I'm very stressed about right now. But I think with charcoal, I don't want to be confined to like an 18 by 24 inch piece of paper. I think if I'm going to do charcoal for real for real, I want to work on a massive scale. I want to work on at least like a 3 foot by 3 foot like piece of paper. Like I want it to be very very large because I don't think that like doing these teeny weeny details here and there are it for me um i just don't operate that way i don't think so in the future i plan on experimenting more with that but like on a larger scale and for the rest of the night today i was actually in the studio working doing my final setup for a piece called lilies um it's about death perhaps 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 um it was actually inspired by my sister who wrote a song about it um which was very dark and almost depressing but the beat behind it was not like sad like violins or anything it was almost like a lullaby or like for something very soft and innocent which i thought was an interesting contrast between the lyrics which were very dark and depressing that contrast is something i've actually been looking towards in my work recently um something artists call like aesthetic horror where very dark and depressing themes are expressed in a way that is aesthetic and that can be easily digested but doesn't overtake the message that you're saying with your piece it just makes it more digestible and like cute and fun but yeah i'm gonna get ready for bed and i'm gonna prepare myself mentally for crit tomorrow hopefully it goes well if it doesn't i'll just cry Good night. This was the final piece. It's a bit different than what I intended it to be originally, but I think it gets the message across better. I added a coffin and put powder inside of it to be ambiguous on whether or not the powder was a body or if it was from the flowers that were actually decaying. I think my professors enjoyed it. To be honest, I don't really know what they think about my work, but I really enjoyed it and so I was proud of it. And I think cleaning it up was also just part of the process of destroying it and that metaphor for impermanence. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked the video like the video if you have a fun comment critique or joke to share comment it down below and if you like me my art or want to follow my journey as an art student in LA you can subscribe it's a fun time here and I think that's the end of the video y'all that's the end of the video